G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into costuming, you'll find DIY videos into furniture, and you'll find analysis into historical events, who are the main characters and why do things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, you might want to consider subscribing. Okay, in today's video we're going to have a look at the Medieval Fight Club reenactment spear. This is a blunt training spear and is perfect for all of the reenactors out there. Let's take a look. As you can see I've mounted mine onto a 1.8 meter, 180 centimeter piece of dowel which is approximately 26 millimeters in diameter. Um, sorry I'm using metric, I'm not very familiar with the whole imperial system. Okay, so let's take a look at some specs on the spear. It has a total length of 352 millimeters, a blade length of 232 millimeters. The thickness of the edge is 2 millimeters. Uh, the wingspan is 80 millimeters, and the weight is 442 grams. Nice and light, very practical, very realistic. I really, really like this. Most importantly, the tip is designed as a very blunt tip. Let's take a quick look at that. All right, so as you can see, the tip has, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing here, this is approximately 15 millimeters uh, in diameter, which is really good. You're not gonna hurt anyone really with that, not unless you're really punching at them. Um, so for reenactment purposes, this is fantastic. So many people, so many people out there I know use um, traditional spearheads for training purposes and people do get hurt. And it's, it's really disappointing. You don't have to. This isn't that expensive. This is $60. Um, really fantastic piece of kit. It's obviously made with a modern steel. Uh, that's okay. This is a training piece of kit. It's, we're not, not talking about the zombie apocalypse at the moment here guys. So this is perfectly fine and, and for people who want to get good at using spears this is a fantastic way to do it. Uh, it really isn't that expensive when you think about the cost of the spearhead at $60. Uh, a cost of a piece of dowel uh, I think goes for around about 25 or something dollars. Um, I'm in Australia we use Bunnings Warehouse as our traditional sort of hardware store here. There isn't really a whole lot of competition in that market. A little bit of a warm day here in Brisbane, Australia. Um, but this is just such a great piece of kit and spears were so much like they were the main weapon of the whole medieval period. Uh, spears, saxes, axes, that kind of thing, knives, swords would have been really reserved for the nobility or higher echelons of society or people who could find one on the battlefield uh, and perhaps or someone who may have stolen it, who knows. Um, but there we go guys, really 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 nice piece of kit here and I rate this very highly, I think this is definitely worthy of a 9 out of 10. The only real things I could think of possibly in improving on this uh, I, th I think it would be nice to see some uh, other options for the training spears and perhaps uh, a wider width, that kind of thing. But realistically, um, I find this a very, very useful tool to train with. I do very strongly suggest that uh, if you are doing weapons training, gear up appropriately. Uh, I know that I use um, my gambeson and chainmail when I'm doing Pretty much any weapon training, train as you would fight, was the mantra that I lived under when I was in the army. I spent uh, 14 years of my life in, in the army and, and so um, definitely training very much as we would do in fighting and that's fine, that's, that's just the way it was. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching, please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.